Yo, what's going on everybody? Back at the shop, going to be working on the LS today, actually working on it. I apologize for the last video, um, didn't do anything and I basically complained the whole time. Was not having the best day, not having the best time in general, but hopefully today we're going to do something a little bit more fun um, and will help me be able to see, or you guys be able to see closer to the final image of this car. So, I have my buddy Hunter over here. Um, who is going to help me try and do some body work. Neither of us really know what we're doing. He has used Bondo before, I have not. So this will probably go terrible, but um, the problem right now is that I'm basically just waiting around for stuff. Um, my plan was that I was going to wait until the new wheels came in, um, test fit them on the car, get everything dialed in, and then get some test miles on them so that I can make sure that everything clearance is. Um, and not run into any issues of you know cracking bodywork because stuff doesn't fit and then having to go back blah 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 but everything's taking a little bit longer than I expected and I don't want to just kind of wait around right now and do nothing I'd rather make some content for you guys um, and also try and learn a new skill so yeah today we're gonna try and see if we can do this and um, if it ends up going poorly it's not the end of the world because we're just really experimenting so yeah so yeah, I think what we're going to do is just tackle this front flare today and just see where we get with it. Um, don't really know what I'm doing, just blending this to this. Oh yeah, I should mention, came over here yesterday and spent six hours vacuuming up all of the water in here and trying to clean up somewhat. Um, it's a little better, it's just now starting to get dry, which is great, um, but yeah, wasn't much fun. Thankfully, just uh, some mud and little damp spots left behind, but it's better than it was. <laughs> what are we doing today, Hunter? Body work. You know what you're doing? Yeah, fixing the fender. Or blending it. All right, <laughs> literally all three of us just fucking grabbed these bitches and just went to town. Uh, as you can see, it's finished, it's done. This is how it's gonna look. Um, just gotta spray some paint over the top of it. Show ready, baby. Isn't that right, Hunter? Yes, sir. <laughs> all right, so base layer down, waiting for that to dry, get some sanding done on that. Um, like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing. Kinda just gonna Keep building it, sanding it. I think that's what you do with bodywork. Right, Hunter? You just, yeah. you build, sand, build, sand. Cool, so that's exactly what we're doing. What are you talking about? This is the final product right there. This is my new color scheme that I'm going. It's kind of this like salmon pink. I'm trying to fit in all the fraternities. Um, smooth. Also doing some Riverside prep, which, you guys haven't seen this thing yet. This is Michael's uh, Monster 6. Just got these wheels on here. I need to try and get the rears on, but we gotta do a little bit of uh, rolling, which I'm gonna tell you right now. I will shave that. Shave me. <coughs> Personally, I would just shave it, because the rear you don't I'd have to say, worry I'd about. I'd say it. shave it and then go from there. Because the way. rear you don't have to worry about it because you don't turn. Yeah, I was just worried about because like the bottom port, if it's like you roll it up, that'll give extra kind of somewhat reinforcement. Yeah. Because if you cut this and it just leaves this kind of the same situation with your quarter, how it's yeah, just like super thin and yeah. weak. But it's easier to pull when it's super thin and weak. Because if we need to pull it to fit the wheels, bada bing, bada boom. If anybody needs their fenders rolled, hit me up. I got the fucking roller that will pull the fuck out of your fenders. 
You doing it at Riverside? You yeah. Know? I'll be at hotel. Riverside with the roller. Which hotel? District 3. It's going to be popping. Come by and get some Fenders roll. Last second. Hunter, hook it up. Here. They LS 207s? 406s. 406s. Yep. See, I th what's the difference between the 407s and the 406s? The Not smokes. Uh, There's yeah. six on this one, seven on the side. Uh, but it's a good looking wheel. Nice white face, polished lips, gold hardware. Uh, 19 by 11 plus 10 in the rear. Your line says 19 by 8 and a half. That's the old barrel. <laughs> that's the OEM barrel. <laughs> no, that's why I'm confused because that wheel is a 9 and a half inch barrel and this one is an 8 and a half inch barrel. Wait, what? Uh -oh, the two rears. No, I think they just. Hold up. Wait, they have different size barrels. That says eight and a half inch, right? Yeah, it says hold right up. here, 19 by 8.5. Yeah, 19. What? Uh, yeah, 19 by nine and a half. I can't really tell a difference. They look the exact same size. Yeah. Do they. The lips any size are different? No. I'm confused. What the fuck? This is 9.5, this is 8.5. But they're both the same size. Alright, fast lay is dry. Let's sand some of these edges off. Alright, my arm already aches. Uh, apparently I don't jerk off enough, but... I didn't realize how physically enduring this was going to be. Definitely not prepared. All right, so trying to get rear fitment dialed in on Michael's car. Shaved the rear arches and they're super thin now. So we're going to try and do what I did with the old setup on the LS, where we use the weight of the car to pull it with like a phone book or something. Um, there's not enough material left to like roll it really there's some heat should be able to get that to pull out just enough close all right so close this is where airlift comes in handy take your airlift manuals slide those in there and it'll magically pull it It'll probably go, but... It will, it's just pushing the tire a little bit. Yeah, so. you don't really want it to do that. I can shave it. If I shaved it a little bit more so that at least that top part is completely flat. And yeah, it clears all the way through there and here too. It's all exactly level. So, yeah, if we stick the books in there and be real careful with it, we should, like, get some heat on it, we should be able to get that to pull. Then what we'll do is we'll just leave it aired out like that for, like, 15, 20 minutes let it cool down then when you air it back up hopefully it will just hold that shape okay. and should slide right over the next time we air it out if not we'll then go back in and like take one of these books out okay. and then keep doing it okay back to this Alright, got a second layer on there, wait for that to dry. Back to the thing. I think I actually used the exact same thing on mine. So, uh... It's like a smooth cardboard, so it lets it slide over it. For the other one to dry, we're gonna start on this one. Got a layer on this side, other side's dry now, so we can start sanding that.
All right, it's been a little bit. We've been cracking on sanding, applying another layer, and then I've been grinding at this, getting the fitment perfect. And Michael wanted fender lip, no adjustment, but didn't want the weight of the car to sit on the fender. I think I got it. Hit that air out. And it looks like it's sitting on it, but I don't know what you can see, you won't be able to see on this, but it's not quite sitting all of the weight on that, so that's absolutely perfect. But yeah, it's just gas. It's just diesel, diesel dog, it ain't gas. <laughs> Yeah, it looks fucking fantastic. I think me and Hunter just convinced Michael to register for Riverside. It is in one week, and I think registration is still open, so. Yeah, definitely it's a Wednesday. Should. Registration still open for Wednesdays. Definitely should. Fucking might as well. Post a comment on this video if Michael should register. Please don't. <laughs> Everybody. I totally forgot. Fucking Hunter does not have dreads anymore. I chopped them off. Dude, turn around. What the fuck, dude? All right, we're gonna make a Harbor Freight run. Uh, I'm gonna go see if we can find some more helpful tools for sanding this. I'm gonna try and see if they have like a nice curved block um, and some kind of curved squeegee for applying the Bondo. That way I can just get in this crease real nice and uh, it'll help with block sanding it and everything. But uh, it looks pretty decent so far. It obviously still needs a lot of work, but uh, it's nice seeing it come together. I'm particularly happy with this uh, this corner right here because that edge looks so natural and perfect and that's just really cool to see so yeah may still look like a pile of shit but it's coming all right we're back we grabbed a couple bits um and then went to taco bell and it took an hour which was fucking ridiculous but got some more bondo um also got a nice little fucking roundy, blocky, sandy boy. I was trying to find some like applicator squeegees that were like rounded so that I could just kind of swoop along this crease, but couldn't find anything. If anybody knows of anything, let me know. All right, well, we're pretty much good on sanding stuff for today. We've already gotten messy once and cleaned up and ate and don't really feel like getting messy again, but we're gonna come back over here tomorrow and get a little bit more done. Um, Michael's car's looking fantastic. Make sure, let us know in the comments if you should register for Riverside. I think you should. Talking to Riverside, I mentioned in the last video about the windbreakers. Um, if you didn't see that, I'll talk about it now real briefly. I'm doing 10 windbreakers again. There's only going to be 50 of them. Last year, even though the show was cancelled, they sold out in 10 minutes. So don't miss out this year. Um, the design is super sick. Definitely don't sleep. Um, so... Yeah, they're only gonna be available at the show. Please stop messaging me asking if I can save you one or ship one somewhere. It's not gonna happen. If you want one, you better book a flight or drive your ass to Riverside Chattanooga next weekend, March 20th, um, first Tennessee Pavilion. It's gonna be a really good show. I'm definitely expecting some super high caliber cars. Um, I guess I can run you guys through my booth cars too. I have a Mazda 6, just like Michael's, except a little bit harder. <laughs> Michael just chimed in in the background and said it a lot nicer. Um, I have Mike Drake's uh, LS400, same body style as this, but pre facelift. Um, that is going to be a new color, so keep an eye out for that. Um, I have a blue Y32 SEMA that has a kit on it now, and it actually has original. Um, SEMA wheels that were converted to three-piece super super clean car um, and then I have an X VIP out demo car it's a, like a kind of a chalk gray LS460 um, so yeah if you want to see any of that stuff come swing by the booth say what's up um, I'm gonna have a few deals going on on some merchandise stuff so if you want to save a little bit of money swing by grab some stuff show some support but um, if you can't make it Go to the store right now and cop some of the merchandise. But anything to add, Hunter? Don't sleep on the fucking windbreakers. So yeah, as you can see, this is today's progress. Um, it's nothing too crazy, but it is somewhat coming together. 
um, it needs a little bit more work and I think the plan is the reason I wanted to buy this was because this is going to give me a really good template as to like how soft I want the curve to be. I'm trying to make this as smoothly blended as I can. Um, and so building this up to the point where I can like basically sand that and have that cap behind be filled in um will be ideal yeah so it's going to be like behind that it'll be real real smooth um yeah it's coming along um it's kind of nice to see like the corners joined at the bottom and not just look like super janky anymore i'm extremely satisfied with like this edge right here like that is fantastic so yeah and this is literally my first time ever using Bondo, really. Um, so I have zero experience. Hono's got a little bit of experience, but not. I've experience. only I've only done my car. So the nice thing is that, like, obviously, if you make mistakes, you can kind of just take it off. Um, so if it does end up looking like shit, it's not the end of the world. Um, and I really like everything with this car. I want to get hands on with and try and learn new stuff. And I don't know, be hands on with everything to do with my own project. So. It's really cool to be able to do this and uh, kind of see it somewhat take shape. I was I was worried that me messing with bodywork was going to end up looking absolutely horrible, but um, after today I actually feel a lot better about it. So yeah, I'm excited to get a little bit more done and hopefully once I get the fronts in good shape and attempt to move onto the back and just see what I can do with it. And I figure I'm not going to be able to get everything absolutely perfect. I am not a bodywork person so I figure I can get everything as close as I possibly can and then at least when the car does go off to paint once the wheels are here and everything's ready um, it'll be a little bit less work for them which is good and kind of right now I'm just playing the waiting game waiting for wheels to come in uh, waiting for the kit to get finished up um, I'm waiting for my new skirts that I bought from Japan to come in um, like a whole bunch of just waiting and I would much rather be doing something that gets me closer to the goal of finishing this car than just sitting around waiting. So yeah, bodywork is a good way to do that and it's relatively inexpensive to do bodywork. It's all just time. Yeah, just $25 for that uh, gallon of Bondo and you know, that thing will literally <laughs> give me weeks and weeks of time and content. So. Yeah, I figure this is good filling content. This is good experimental shit for me. And if anybody has any advice for bodywork stuff and this kind of like molding the flares in, let me know. But um, I'm, I think I'm gonna enjoy this process. I was definitely worried about it. Definitely didn't want to do it, but now that I've messed with it today. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. We will see you in another video real, real soon. Bye.